my sandwich because I'm a professional. This is the Terror of the Hemosaurus. Oh my god. A game by Laura Lemke. It's in Alpha. I think it's been updated recently. You try to press start. So we have very many Godzilla type creatures to be. This is very. This is like Voxel Rampage. It's very nice. Oh, they added something. July 16th, 2030. Svalbard, Norway. Oh, this is new too. Welcome back to the debate stage. To my left, we're joined by the world's leading climate scientist, Hans Pissenschaft. Of course. And to my right, we have international fat cat, Richie Horderson. Maybe Hans or Richie? I'll be Hans. I'll be Hans. The heir to the Polutacorp fortune. We must act now. The polar ice caps are melting as we speak. Climate change will unleash terror upon this planet. Well, now, I ain't no fancy pants scientist like yourself. I'm just a regular Joe. But how's a little melting ice gonna unleash all this terror? I think you're making a monster out of a molehill. Who knows what terror might be unleashed by the melting ice caps? Maybe a virus, or worse. And the idiom is making a mountain out of a molehill! Either way, folks watching at home can rest easy. Climate change ain't no scary monster coming to unleash terror upon mankind. Oh, there they go. That's probably fine. I'm sure that's fine. The economy is what really matters, and climate change ain't gonna affect the folks watching at home. Oh, is that coming through on the game? Shit. Well, Shaman, I don't know what to do about it, unfortunately. <laughs> rabba, rabba. We have been anticipating your arrival, Salamandra and Hemosaurus. We are the Church of the Holy Lizard. Our members have taken an oath under penalty of death to perform a sacred duty. Our sacred duty is to save humanity from its own reckless disregard for the planet. You see, human brains are hardwired to prioritize only dangers that exist in the present. This means humanity will not act with appropriate urgency to save the planet. Your presence is proof of that, and proof that our church will succeed in upholding its sacred duty. In order to save humanity, we must develop a time machine. We're already testing some prototypes. Allow us to perform a demonstration for you. Flat. As you can see, it still has some issues. We can send most of the person's soft tissue back to a past date. But we're still struggling a bit with the person's bones. Anyway, using a time machine and other future technology, we created you and sent you to the past. Rather, we will. To be buried deep in the polar ice cap, set to melt just before it's too late to save the planet. That time has come for you to be the present danger that will motivate humanity to act. You know, beyond all the hurricanes, wildfires, mass extinctions, heat waves, disease, outbreaks, floods, and such. In order to save the human race, you must kill their families, destroy their homes, and inflict terror upon them. Would you like to take the tutorial? Sure. Then let us begin. Our research indicates that time travel combined with prolonged freezing can result in some unintended effects. So we set up this training course so we can perform some basic tests to determine your capabilities. First, we want to test your climbing abilities. Climb to the top of that lighthouse and then return to your starting position. 
move and jump. A jump down airborne climbing. This is useful for quickly jumping down off a building. Surprise enemy or navigate an obstacle. He did it. Nicely done. I'm glad to see your movement hasn't been affected. I mean, if you couldn't do this, there would be no hope for you, nor for humanity. You were frozen for quite a long time. You must be very hungry. Well, good news! Finley over here has decided to make the most wonderful sacrifice a person can make for the environment. And for you! It would make Finley very happy if you ate him. Wait, wait, what did you say? Eating people will restore health points and power you up. You see, people are actually the most green choice a person or monster can make for food. Eating a person drastically reduces their carbon footprint. That's why we are strict cannibals. Go eat Finley. Wait, I changed my mind. I don't want to be this crazy in this crazy cult anymore. I just saw it yesterday. Please don't! You made Finley very happy. Now you must just learn how to destroy people's homes. They must know they aren't safe anywhere. The Church of the Holy Lizard built this simulated structure just for you to destroy. Hop onto a building and start punching away! The section you're climbing upon is destroyed. You will reflexively jump. The building is most durable at its base and becomes structurally weaker the higher you climb. Try to make buildings topple for quick destruction. Don't worry about destroying every last piece of building. Once it's mostly destroyed, that's fine. To increase the simulation's authenticity, a number of new recruits are presently sleeping inside the building. I'm sure they'll be pleasantly surprised to play an important role in upholding the church's sacred duty. Now go destroy the building. Can't eat it. That's not a fun place to turn. Fantastic! It gives me so much pleasure to see the sparkle of terror in the eyes of new recruits. It's so dark. When an enemy's rise in front of you, press kick them. You can aim the direction you kick people and other things. Fortunately, we have a group of eager devotees willing to let you hone your kicking skills on them. In exchange, we promise to use the time machine to acquire a past version of them and replant them in this timeline. Though, between you and me, I'm not sure that's even possible. But anyway, get to kicking! Ow! Some of those new recruits hit the ground so hard, I can't tell who they are anymore. As maybe we should have gotten a list of their names beforehand. Oh well! I love this guy. It's important that the youth understand they will not be spared in a climate catastrophe. That's why the Church of the Holy Lizard has a youth outreach program. After all, children are our most valuable resource. For example, you can pick people up and throw them as an offensive weapon. This is great for hitting enemies at a distance and enemies that are flying. Down and Y, and then throw, and then aim. Now go practice your throwing skills and try to hit the targets. There's a little, there's a little hook, but you, uh, you can kind of grab them before they hit the ground. There we go. See? Got it. <laughs> Nicely done! Wonderful to see the youth, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> contributing so much to averting the climate crisis. You might be wondering by now, how can all this killing be justified? Well, is killing in self-defense justified? If so, consider all this to be in defense of the human race. I don't want to kill people. Sure, it may give me a special kind of joy that I've never before experienced. But the real joy comes from knowing that through death I am promoting life. You okay there, Shaman? Speaking of self-defense... It's self okay, Shaman. 
The next skill you must practice is the Atomic Butt Slam. While airborne, <laughs> down B until you crash into the ground below. This is a great way to surprise enemies on the ground. If you jump from high enough, the ability will impact with extra power. This man here we have restrained. Do you know what he did? Nothing! Yet we have selected him to die. According to calculations by our church's inter-universal sacred geometers, for every life we take, we save at least ten future lives. So I want you to save ten future lives by taking this one with an atomic butt slam. It's like stapling squirrels to a body. It's easy to get too focused on all the killing. We're also saving lives. You just can't see it yet. Your training is complete for now. There's still much to learn, so keep experimenting. It is also predicted that you possess a powerful, ultimate ability capable at extreme levels of destruction. But we cannot teach you that. You must discover it for yourself. Now we must plan your first attack. Also, Shad, aren't we so cute? They're ador- God, they're adorable. Demonstration of Terror. Kill 50 humans. Do 50% destruction. It's time to introduce humanity to your uh, terror. Kill a minimum of 50 humans and destroy at least 50% of the town. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Whee! <laughs> But yeah, it's ramping the boxes. It's it's almost perfect. Mario's down. Oh, cars. Ah, oh, shit. Take that, Sludge Burger. Timber! This, this, this would be a good game for the boys. It's four players. I think it's coming out early this year, I think it's like. So hopefully it's nice to do I mean, the initial cutscene wasn't there when we played the first I know, time. I know, that was a lot of new stuff. Well, and the, there's a, a new mode, too. Timber! There we go. Makes me so happy. the coppers. There's a big hole in that son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Except there's a giant sloth and a robo hemosaurus. I haven't seen I've seen the ultimate attacks, but I don't think it's so we destroyed 80% of town and we killed 200 and almost 30. around a little bit at the end during the slow motion. Oh no, the butt stomp. Oh god. <laughs> it's so forceful. It's fantastic. <clears throat> so we ate the leader of the cult. So now we have Shepherd of the Holy Lizard 2. When done correctly, it's possible to get buildings to topple into another. 
to get a building to topple into another building, target the weak spot on the correct side. Good job. down for me because of all of the particle, the particle I'm effects. I'm sure. <laughs> Nothing really brings me great. Oh, wait, wait, there's, I gotta get one on the other side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember there's one here too. Gotta sandwich it. I think a little higher up. Yeah. That sludge burger. People fight. <laughs> Giant horrifying lizards can't melt through steel beams. Oh, no, we got the baby. Not this one. Also eat people in the windows. Really? I'm trying to yes. Oh, I see that. Ah, that's great. Good fun. That's stuff they don't tell you to do. Ah, there's a lot. You should eat them faster. I just suspect that eating them leads to our super. Oh, it also keeps up our health. Oh, yeah. No one has the balls to take us on yet. Hefty bar. Stuck on a little tiny building. We have to destroy more. It's crazy. Well, it's oh, I think we had to. Oh, no. I think we had to hit up on it, which is a weird button to hit. Beefy. Race to 75% destruction. Ah, oh, no, I should have it. Nope, I got it. I took out nope, more of the bottom. Nope, you beat me. I took out more of the bottom. Who <laughs> The master of disaster. East Northport, Long Island. East Northport, eh? Yes, he is a big hack. People are fleeing in their cars! Let's teach these people a lesson about how cars are destroying the environment by destroying their environment with their cars! You can kick cars into buildings. Sure can. Requires a little finesse. A boost! It's the sound of the police.
I don't think they will, though. Okay. Yeah. Kicking cars. Durable. Look at that. Oh, that's magical. There we go. Oh, I missed. Damn you, particle effects. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And there's just a nice the Grain Hamper Media. I like that too. Pet clay. Wilbur Puss Puss. But as me and Grant said, imagine with four people how chaotic this is. That'd be amazing. I'm uh, gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. See him. There they are. Man paste. I don't think we need to bring man paste into it. Shaman, that's. That's uncalled for. Oh, a video and a video. Go ahead. We're interrupting your regularly scheduled program with a late breaking news alert. Reports are coming in indicating that some sort of giant monster has attacked the town at Northport, New York. We urge, we urge you, you folks at home, please do not panic. We have already dispatched our news chopper to get you some Juicy footage of all that carnage. We now return to your regularly scheduled program. Lovely. Is this... Are we at that one? Throw ten people at the helicopter blades. Yay. The news job is almost here. I need you to put a special show on for the cameras. Throw or kick ten people into the blades of the news chopper and make it rain blood. This is a great mission. That's where it's important to be able to... Ah, I Come here, Popo. All this death, all this destruction is gonna get us so many clicks. Come here, Popo. Oh, you got the Popo. Aw, oh, we lost the helicopter. There are more of them. 
<laughs> Need more people. Oh, oh both. They're coming out the building. I need to punch them. Punch them out. I'm just gonna shake the beehive and they'll fall out. Ah! Yeah, there's one. Poke on fire! Oh, we got it. I threw a poke that was on fire into the. <laughs> the helicopters are struggling. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the juicy, juicy ratings. Thank you for playing the demo. Wish list now. It's an awesome, like, final mission. Oh, no, they did have the, the race against the destruction race. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have New York's outskirts, Brain Hamper Media, Hungry Monsters, New Jersey, New Jersey for Chapter 1, which hopefully we'll have some more of this done soon. This has been a super fun. I can't wait to do more. There's a sloth. There's a robo -hemosaurus. I love that the, we, we sent you guys into the past to so wake up now that it's almost too late to do anything about it. It's just, there's so many layers to the trifle. I hope you've enjoyed our demo of the terror of the Hemosaurus. This is Death Evan and Marzi. Say goodnight, Marzi. Good night. I'll see you guys next time.